nursery students. In today's topic, we shall be looking at environmental hazards. The contents. Number one, soil erosion. Number two, causes of soil erosion. Number three, control of erosion. Number four, flooding. Number five, drainage pattern. Number six, causes of flooding. Number seven, prevention of flooding. Eight, effect of flooding. These are all what we shall be looking at. Soil erosion. This is the washing away of the soil by heavy rain or wind resulting to the um, formation of gully and landslides and leaving beside, behind seals on which plants can no longer grow. Soil erosion can be defined as the removal of topsoil faster than the soil forming processes can um, replace it due to natural animal and human activity, for instance, over grazing, over cultivation, um, forest clearing, mechanized farming, and so on. Soil erosion results in land in effect, uh, in infertility. Um, which leads to desertification and devastating flooding. Causes of soil erosion. The causes of soil erosion are as follows. 1. Excessive rainfall. Due to excessive rainfall, top fertile soil is washed away. 2. Human activities. Human activities accelerate disappearances of a protective cover of natural vegetation and causes soil erosion. 3. Overgrazing. Overgrazing leads to the absence of ground vegetation causing gradual depletion of soil organism and soil erosion. Number four, land use. Um, Humans play a major role in soil erosion through their use and abuse of natural resources. For example, deforestation, grazing, arable land use, faulty farming system, high crop intensity, construction, mining, and so on. Climate. The two most important climatic factors having a direct effect on erosion are precipitation and wind velocity. Six is landform, slope, gradient, slope, uh, length and shape of slope are the important variable of landform that affect erosion processes for all types of soil erosion. For instance, splash, sheet, reel and gully erosion. Then number seven is bush burning. Effects of soil erosion. The effects of soil erosion are as follows. Reduction in soil quality, which results from the loss of the nutrient-rich upper layers of the soil. Reduces um, water holding capacity of the soil. Also, displacement of people from their homes is another effect. Destruction of farmlands is another effect of soil erosion. Um, collapse of building is another effect of soil erosion. And lastly, damage of soil surface and roads. Let's look at the control of soil erosion. Planting of um, vegetative cover helps in controlling soil erosion. Another one is avoidance of indiscriminate bush burning. Next is avoidance of overgrazing. Also mulching also helps. Then crop rotation helps in preventing or controlling soil erosion. Another is ridging across slope. Also, application of organic manure. Um, then we have uh, planting of leguminous crops. And lastly, education. Let's look at flooding. Flooding can be defined as an overflow of water onto land that is normally dry. It also occurs when there is more water on the surface of the land than it can take. This may lead to river overflowing its bank. Displayed on your screen is an example or an image of flooding. Causes of flooding. The causes of flooding are 1. Deforestation. When large areas of forest near the rivers are cleared, the land may be used for settlements, roads, and uh, farmland. Less vegetation protects the soil. The soil is quickly lost to rivers and seas. This uh, raises the river beds. 
um, so the river overflows its bank easily and then flooding occurs. The second one is poor water management. Um, when the dams are poorly constructed or maintained, they can easily collapse and this results in flooding. Then number three is uh, population pressure. Because of large amount of uh, population of people, more food, wood and so on are needed for consumption, thereby leading to over cultivation of lands which can lead to erosion and increases the risk of flooding. Effects or consequences of flooding Let's look at the effect of communities. 1. Loss of human life. 2. Damage of property. 3. Deterioration of health condition owing to waterborne diseases. 4. Damage to infrastructure also causes um, long-term impact such as a uh, disruption to supplies of clean water, waste water treatments, electricity, transport, communication, education, and health care. Now let's look at the impact on farmland. Flooding on farmland has the following effect. 1. Widespread damage to crops and fencing. 2. Loss of livestock. 3. Waterlogged soil. 4. Delay in um, harvesting are further intensified by transport problems due to flooded roads and damaged infrastructure. Then we have the last one, food prices increases due to shortage in supply. Prevention of flooding. The following are the, way, are the ways to prevent flooding. 1. Construction of dams to take excess water that may lead to flooding. 2. Construction of reservoirs that will hold excess water which can be used for other purposes. 3. Clearing of gutters of waste that can prevent free flow of water. 4. Prevention of construction of structures along um, rivers and sea banks. 5. Having adequate and proper town planning which will bring about construction of adequate drainage system and seas um, education also helps in this. Drainage patterns. Drainage is the process by which water or liquid waste is emptied from an area. Let's look at type of drainage patterns. We have one surface drainage pattern. This type of drainage system is found in rural areas and it is not designed by qualified engineers. The drainage is exposed um, and water can easily overflow the drainage and flood the area. The second type of drainage pattern we have is subsurface drainage system. The subsurface um, system is covered with concrete while um, water flows on the ground, thereby preventing overflow of the boundaries. It is designed by qualified engineers. This type of drainage is usually found in cities such as Abuja, Lagos, and so on in Nigeria. Exercise number one. Soil dash can be defined as the removal of top soil faster than the soil forming processes can replace it. A. Degre de degradation. B. Aggravation. C. Management. D. Erosion. Number two. The following can lead to soil erosion except dash A. Overgrazing B. Crop rotation C. Bush burning D. High precipitation Number 3. The type of drainage found in cities such as Abuja and Lagos are dash drainage A. Surface B. Subsurface C. Local D. Small Number 4. Which of these does not um, help in prevention of flooding a illiteracy b education c clearing of gutters d dam construction number five dash can be defined as an overflowing of water onto the land that is normally dry a erosion b precipitation c flooding d oceanography answers to the exercise Number one, the answer is D. Number two, the answer is B. Number three, the answer is B. Number four, the answer is A. And number five, the answer is C. Evaluation. Number one, explain flooding. Number two, list five causes of flooding. Number three, explain four effects of flooding. 
Number four, mention and explain four activities of man that promote flooding. Number five, explain how flooding can be prevented or controlled. Number six, explain how explain two types of drainage system. Number seven, define erosion. Number eight, list four causes of soil erosion. Number nine, state five ways of controlling soil erosion. And lastly, number 10, mention five effects of erosion. It's time to draw today's lesson to a close. I want to especially thank you for taking our time to listen to this lesson. And I hope to see you in the next class. Thank you.